What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are continuing to tear up the Master Tier, but this time with a nice little off meta Swift Swim Dreadnought team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to subscribe to the channel. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Matt. Matt, shout out to you for leaving this team on my Twitter. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, head down the link in the description below, Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. DM me, tweet at me, however you want to get me the rental codes. I check them all out and I try to get back to everybody. And I try to use as many rental codes that fans send to me as I can. Because I, I, I absolutely love using your guys' team. They're nice, cool off-meta teams. They're strong on the Master Ladder. They're just great all around. They really are. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with the team preview. Start off with Indeedy over here with the Psychic Surge and the Red Card, which is definitely, in my opinion, a very underrated item. So what this item does is anytime this Pokemon is hit and it's not killed, the Pokemon that hit him actually swaps out. So it can be used up against Dynamax Pokemon, regular Pokemon. I just think it can work well all around. Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Heal Pulse is its own. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Leftovers Drizzle Kai Ogre with Origin Pulse, Thunder, Icy Wind for uh, Speed Control, and then last but not least, we're Rocking Protect. Next Pokemon is going to be Middle Left, it is going to be Zassian, but this time it's Rocket Sword Sands. You never really see a Sword Sand Zassian because it already hits hard enough as it is. It's got Interpret Sword, it's got Rusted Sword, and it's Rocking Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Sword Sands, and Substitute. So no Protect on the Zassian. We'll see how this one works for us. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Regilecki with Transistor and the Focus Hash, Thunder, Eerie Impulse for that special attack drop, we got UF for Speed Control, and last but not least, we have Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Intimidate and Figgy Berry Incineroar with Flare with Snarl, Fake Out, Parting Shot, everything's pretty normal on that Incineroar, it just works too well not to change up. Final Pokemon on the squad is my boy over here. We got Swift Swim Dreadnought, and I don't think I used this Pokemon since like Series 2. It's been a while since I used this guy. It's got the Assault Vest, it's got High Horsepower, it's got Dragon Tail, and then it's two stab moves are Head Smash and Liquidation. Guys, if you want to rent this code for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop into that Master Tier. Look to get some wins with this Swift Swim Dreadnought Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool Lunala and Ice Rider Calvex Trick Roomish team. He can definitely pop Trick Room with both those Pokemon to get one out from there. He also has the Regilecki, he has the Hydreigon, he has Incineroar, and last but not least, he has a Pokemon that I'm really worried about. It's going to be Storm Drain Gastron. So I got to get rid of that Pokemon so I can buzz out here and get after this battle. But how should I lead this one? How should I go into it? He might lead Incineroar, which, which could be a problem for us. But at this point, I might just go like a Pokemon like, uh, I could go Kyogre. Kyogre wouldn't be bad here. And then maybe just Dynamax Kyogre at that point. Yeah, I'm going to go Kyogre. And then I'm going to lead uh, I could lead Regilecki of my own. I could definitely lead Regilecki of my own. But, but the problem with leading Kyogre would be that Storm Ring Ashdown, which I do not like one bit. I do not like that one bit. So how should I do this? I could go Reggie. I could go Dreadnought. But Dreadnought is affected by Intimidate, which I do not like. Who do I want to go here? He's definitely going to lead Incineroar. He's leading Incineroar 1,000%. So, you know what? I'm just going to go my Incineroar. And then I'm going to bring Regilecki here. And then I'm going to go Dreadnought and Kyogre. Actually, let's not bring Regilecki. I'm running out of time. You know what? We're going to have to do it. Zassian, you're not coming in here. And I'm a little upset at that. I'm a little upset at that. I did not bring in my Zassian. But I was running out of time. I was running out of time. We took too long to pick, but it's all good. We're going to make up for it in this first battle. We don't need Zassian. We're better than that. We're better than that. Zassian's too good. We don't need him. We'll, we'll play without him. We'll be just fine. We will be just fine. Watch. Well, it's going to come down to a situation where it's just Zassian here. We would have won the battle. But let's see who he leads. Lunala and Incineroar. So, yeah. We're going to try to pick out his Incineroar and get after his battle. Let's do it. Okay, cool. He does have Meteor Beam, which we got to watch out for. Could just dump on my Incineroar. But our Red's like he does have Focus Ash, which is really, really good. But, yo, Storm Drink Gashdown, we have to watch out for. Storm Drink Gashdown is one of those scary little Pokemon. Those scary little Pokemans. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's, let's just, he's definitely going to fake out. I'm going to go for the fake out on him as well. Hopefully I outspeed him. Let's see. Let's actually see our speed. Let's see what you're cooking with, dude. Let's see what your speed's cooking with, Incineroar. Can you outspeed this Incineroar? That could be that could be nice and big for us. Let me get off that fake out. 112. No Dynamax candies for him. That's a little weird. But still, we don't even need him. We don't need him. We're not. We're probably not going to be using him anyway. 112 with that. And we got Jolly Nature, so he should be faster. It's a quick Incineroar. This is the fastest an Incineroar can get. So yeah, we should be able to outspeed him. We should just be able to do that. And then I could go for an eerie impulse here. Wouldn't be bad at all. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be my play. I'm gonna end up withdrawing. Wow. 
Ow. Going through a special attacker, please. Gashon. Okay, I'm cool with that. Gashon's gonna come out here. We're gonna eerie impulse that thing. That's actually doesn't affect it. It is an electric move. But that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Eerie impulse can come out here, and it actually does affect them, so which is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. So minus two for Gashon. That's a huge turn for us. He flinches, and from here, you know, I'm just gonna pardon shot. I'm gonna dip out onto this Incineroar. And I'm just gonna go into. Do, you, do we think we can land a Thunder? I'm gonna go for a Thunder. I'm gonna go for a Thunder right in this slot. I'm gonna say Reg like he's got it in him today. He's gonna be able to rock it. Yes, sir. Give me the Paralyze. Give me the Paralyze, dude. Give me the Paralyze. Let's go, Reggie. Give me the Power. Give me the Power. He does have a Berry. There is a chance of Paralyze. I think it's like 30%. But I don't think we got it because I think Berry comes out first. So there's that. Party Shot's gonna be. will come out next. And at this point, uh, who do I bring out here? Who do I bring out? I bring out Kyogre? I bring out Kyogre? I think I have to bring out Dreadnought. I think I have to bring out Dreadnought. That's definitely going to be my play. I'm going to have to get after this Gastron because I can't really do much until that Gastron is gone and out of here. I'm going to bring out Dreadnought. I'm going to Dynamax next turn. Hopefully the partner shot is going into the Regilecki, which I think it would, right? I'm going to partner shot into Reggie. Okay, cool. Yeah, party shot into the Reggie. I wish I had Bolt Switch at this point. Um, okay. So I have a decent amount of speed here. I really do. I have speed flying. Gastrodon is just chilling there. It's minus two, which is pretty solid. I would love to get rid of that Pokemon. I really would. And Lunala is going to fly out here. So Lunala comes out here. I'm just going to throw an eerie impulse into Lunala. It might pop a trick room. It's just going to earth power, which we should be able to soak pretty well here. So cool. We soak. 72 HP. Okay, so he can hit us again and take us out. But uh, from here, I think I just Dynamax and I might rock ball with a Quake. I can hit both these guys. Not a Quake. A lot of these are special attackers. I'm going to Quake and I'm just going to Eerie Impulse you. That's going to be my play. Gashon might protect for a Trick Room. It might protect for a Trick Room, but I have to get rid of Gashon if I want to do anything in this battle. This is why I wish I would have brought Sassy. Gashon is just a huge problem. It's just a huge problem, especially because we're not rocking Ice Beam. We are not rocking Ice Beam. We got G-Max right now. I totally forgot what his G-Max move does, but this thing's sick. This thing's sick. Look at him. Big time turtle boy. Do not protect Gastro. He protects Lunala, okay. He protects Lunala. Lunala gets to protect. Eerie Impulse gonna get blocked. And we're gonna get a special defense boost, which might allow this uh, Reg Lucky to actually uh, stay in another turn, which could be big for us. We're gonna build up some damage on that. Beautiful. And what do I wanna do here? I just wanna Eerie Impulse again. I just wanna Eerie Impulse this. Special defense is boosted. He's gonna yawn me. Oh, you little biscuit. Can I change terrain anyway? Can I change terrain? Is there any way I can change this terrain? Um, no, I don't have any moves I can change terrain. That's a little whack for me. God dang it. God dang it. Okay, so nothing to change terrain. At this point, uh, we could go for Stone Surge wouldn't do anything. That leaves rocks on the field, which is pretty solid. Definitely pretty solid, but I'm just going to go for max damage, I guess. Right over onto Lunala. Dude, that Gastron's going to be a pain. That Gashon's gonna be a pain, and at this point, I might just swap. Swapping it over here? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll just go for an eerie impulse in this slot. He's gonna go into Sinor, isn't he? Yeah. Son of a biscuit. God dang it. Sinor's gonna come out here. It's gonna be minus one. This guy is just loving around us, but still, we take out Incineroar this turn. We take out Incineroar, but Gashon is going to be such a pain. Gashon is going to be such a pain. We're going to go for an area impulse. It's going to do nothing. We'll take out Incineroar with this rock move, and then we'll get Buzzing. But again, if we don't get rid of Gashon, we are in some trouble. We are in some trouble. Trouble isn't even the word for it. So Rock Falls can come through here. Solid little turn. We're going to say bye-bye to Incineroar. Cool. Incineroar is gone. Incineroar is gone. Dude, we need Zassy. We need Zassy in this battle. I'm telling you, we're going to get ran. We're going to get ran because I can't do anything with that Gash on the field. I don't have Ice Beam or anything to kind of take that thing out. He's going to go for an Earth Power. We should be able to actually soak that up with a plus one on defense. 10 HP. Oh, but Buffets might take us out. Reg's like, eat this buff. It's 1 HP. No, Reggie's gone. Okay, so Reggie drops out. Uh, Do I bring out Incineroar? I think I have to keep snarling that thing down. Who's he going to bring out here? He's probably going to go back into Lunala at this point, right? Lunala might come out here, and at this point, I would think I'd rather go with you. I can get an Intimidate off if he wants to bring in Calyrex. 
And then if he brings out Lunal, we could just snarl up on the board. He's gonna bring out Lunal. So I'm just gonna start snarling down on the board. My boy's gonna be asleep. He might die next. He might go for a Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam is definitely an option for him. Meteor Beam is a scary little option for him. Might just, uh, might just keep that, uh, what's it called in. Actually, I'd rather drop a rock here, get some stab damage off on this thing. Actually, I'd rather go after, uh, Gastro. But I'm just gonna snarl here. Lunal might be going for a Meteor Beam to drop my Incineroar, but we'll see. He's gonna withdraw Gastro. Who are you gonna go into? Calyrex. So he's definitely popping a trick from here. He's definitely, definitely popping a trick from here. Definitely popping the trick from here. Unnerved's gonna come out here, so I can't even eat my Figgy Berry with my Incineroar. Dreadnought's gonna be slumped. Incineroar's gonna go next. I oh, know he goes first, and he's not popping trick. Can you eat this up? Can you eat up this Meteor Beam? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I do not think this thing can. It's kind of scary. Kind of scares me. Let's see how he plays one. Meteor Beam's gonna come in hot. Eat this up, Incineroar. Just soak it up real quick. It's easy soaks, baby. Easy soaks. Yeah, no shot. No shot. <laughs> no shot. So if he didn't have Gash on, I could legit just steamroll this battle for him. Would have been an easy battle for me. But he's gonna swap into Gash on now that I bring out my Kyogre, right? 100% he does. So what do I do? What do I do? I really wanna drop the water spot. I really wanna go for it. I can't. I cannot. What do, what do I do? Do I play I, do I play a Thunder and guess who he's gonna swap out? I would think he would swap out maybe like the Lunala at this point, right? They're not still asleep. Go for head smash right in this slot, which I'm going to do. I'm going to head smash that slot. And I'm going to thunder the other slot. Let's do that. He's got to swap into Gastron here. No doubt in my mind. I got to make a read. I got to make a read. And he still has a Dynamax. And of course, he's not going to swap, but he's going to straight up Dynamax. I could have dropped a water spout and did some mean old damage. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Hopefully, my boy wakes up. My Dreadnought, he can get off some big old damage. And he's gonna Dynamax Lunala. So Lunala's gonna come out here with Dynamax. We're gonna Thunder that thing, which I think we should be faster. So we have a chance of paralyzing. Which could, be could definitely be big for us. Dreadnought wakes up. That's huge. Yo, take this thing out. I don't think he's gonna be able to take it out, but that's gonna do some good damage. We are minus one. But Head Smash comes in, and it, yo, it does take out. Let's go. Let's go, Dread. Big time crit. Big time crit. But yeah, if I had more time picking my team, I feel like we would have been doing great in this battle we're gonna take a lot of recoil damage there but thunder should come out here and give me the para give me the para give me the para give me the para let's go big time para big time para big time para this thing's gonna phantasm probably in the kyogre right no it takes out my dreadnought that's rough news dreadnought was legit my only pokemon to be able to take out but yeah that's gonna be ggs that is going to be ggs i mean i could boost its special attack and just go for water moves here I don't know what I do here. We have paralyzed on Lunala. I could uh, just protect my uh, my boy right now. Kind of waste out some turns. His Origin Pulse can still do a lot of damage over on him. Problem is, we're gonna take out this guy shot with icy ones. If it has recovered, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. But yeah, if I would have brought my Zacian, we definitely would have been fine in this battle. We really would have. We really would have because we played really good all around. We took out a lot of Pokemon. We did some mean damage, but Gastron, we just can't do anything up against. Phantasm is going to fly here. It's going to drop my defense, but these are both special attackers, so I'm cool with that. And then we're just going to get rolling from there. I don't mind my defense dropping. Because we're really hoping that uh, this. Uh, we're really hoping that this Lunala is going to waste a turn here. But I'm just going to Icy Wind start chipping up damage. I don't even think Icy Wind can do enough damage. Like, this thing has leftovers. This thing does have leftovers. Icy Wind coming in hot. Let's see how much damage it's really going to do on the Gastron. That's why I wish we had Ice Beam. This instance right here. Ice Beam would have would have would have did solid. But Ice Wind's going to fly here. And yeah, it's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. We'll see how we can actually play this one. Chelsea, maybe this uh, Lunala can be paralyzed this turn. He's going to yawn me. That's a little rough rough news there. But uh, hopefully he's paralyzed this turn. No, he's not. Phantasm is going to come out here. And we should be able to soak that up, actually. Which we do but yeah it's ggs i'm just gonna run this battle yo battle number one goes to our opponent if we had more time picking our team i feel like we could just pick zassi and roll out from there and grab ourselves some win in battle number one but not too bad we got to show off the dreadnought dreadnought got to do a lot of work
Second battle coming at you guys. First battle definitely could have went our way. Like I said, we misclicked our team. Well, we didn't misclick our team. We just ran out of time making our team. And I definitely could have used Zassian in that battle. But second battle is coming at you guys. I'm going up against a Swift Swim Kingdra team without Kyogre, which is really weird. He also has Zassian, Shadow Rider, Kyogre, Regilecki, then he has Landers, and Amoogus. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Dreadnought and Kyogre could be a great lead. But if he leads the Kingdra, we could be in a little bit of trouble. We could definitely be in a little bit of trouble, but you know what? I'm going to play it. I'm going to go after it. We're going to rock out with this. We're going to rock out with this, and then we are going to go into... Hmm. We could actually lead Regilecki, which wouldn't be bad. Do I want to lead Regilecki just for some speed control? At that point, I feel like we can just go Regilecki and Kyogre, and then have Dreadnought on the back end, which could be really good for us. Which could definitely be really good for us, because I can E-Web and outspeed pretty much everything. Yeah, I'm thinking that. That's a good lead for us. I'm thinking that's a really good lead for us. Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. Then bring Dreadnought and Zastin in the back. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh, where's my Kyogre? Oh my god, of course I didn't leave my Kyogre. Do we have time to do all this? 10 seconds. Let's see if we can click it in. Let's go. Kyogre. Zastin. All right, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Almost ran out of time again. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? But yeah, second battle coming at you guys. Let's get after it. I don't even think I asked you guys question of the day. And that is what item do you think is the most underrated? In Pokemon, considering we're using the red card right now, I feel like the red card is super underrated. I haven't got a chance to showcase it yet. Maybe we'll showcase it in the next battle, but it's a really cool item that I feel is that is underrated. So if you guys have any underrated items, let me know in the comment section down below. He's, go he's gonna end up sending out Regilecki of his own. I'm sorry, Calyrex. That's a, little, that's a little tough for me. I don't like that one bit. I do not want to like that one bit. Not one bit. Um, hmm, I could hear your impulse. I could Dynamax Ogre too. Ogre would not be a bad Dynamax here. He really wouldn't. He would not be a bad Dynamax here. I'm kind of leaning towards. I definitely want to E Web just to kind of keep speed in check. I could Icy one here as well, but I'm thinking of just ripping a geyser into you. That's going to be my play. We're going to Dynamax the Ogre here. He lovely little Kyogre. We're going to get Dynamax in him, and we're going to get rolling out. I'm scared of that Calyrex, man. It's just such a problem every time. It's just such a problem. It's such a problem. Regilecki is going to be a huge problem for me because I do have Dreadnought, but if I can get out Zacian, I think, we can, I think we can thrive out from here. I think we can thrive out, but let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We're going to get out our boy. We're going to Dynamax our boy here. Let's run it. Let's run it. I wish Dreadnought was a uh, park ground. So it can't be hit by electric moves, but he just gets ripped in by electric moves. Electric move does him dirty. Does him dirty. But yeah, here goes Dynamax for us. Let's get it. Kyogre getting the Dynamax. We're going to be able to bounce across. Probably trigger the Focus Ash, but at that point, he's not going to have Focus Ash anymore considering we're rocking it with E-Web. Unless he's able to outspeed me, which of course he does, doesn't he? And we, yo, he protects Reggie. That's a solid turn for us. He protects Reggie here. And he's going to snarl on the board. And Kyogre dodge that. Oh, we love that. We love that dodge. The big time dodge for us. That takes off Focus Ash. That's a big time dodge for us. That's a big time dodge for us because if this E Web lands, which it does, cool. I'm gonna say bye bye to Calyrex. So Calyrex is gone. Cali Cali's gone. That's a big old turn. That's a big, that's a big time turn for us that he protects the Regilecki. I think we're going after him. Nah, we're going after his Calyrex. And we dodge that snarl. That's just huge. That's just huge. So we're gonna say bye bye to Calyrex. That's a huge start for this match. Huge start for this match. Later, horsey. Later. Later. Okay, so he has Regilecki, who's even on the speed board. My Regilecki is rather fast. 269. That's quick. That's a quick Reggie, dude. He might end up Dynamaxing his own Reggie. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. It really depends who he brings out here, which it could be Kingdra. Definitely see Kingdra poking out here. At that point, I might just take off the Swift Swim, but maybe, maybe not. Even with Swift Swim, I feel like Regilecki still outspeeds. Actually, maybe not. He's just rather fast. But did he even bring it? Because if he brought it, I feel like he would just throw it out instantly. Considering the rain is going. But I do not know. Let's see who he's going to throw out here. We shall see. I would love to slow him down. I would love to slow down everybody on the field. If I get off one E-Web, I feel like we could be thriving with this match. He's going to send out Zassian. Okay, so uh, I think we should be able to get off an E-Web here. E-Web, and we could double down Zassian at this point. Zassian can eat this. Uh, it took up some shots. The thing is, I'm definitely going to E-Web here. Could eerie impulse him, but I think I'm just gonna geyser straight across into Regilecki. I feel like we should be able to eat up whatever Regilecki has to offer, and Zassian might end up protecting. Let's see. Yep, there's a protecting Zassian. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. So we're swapping it over on the Red Lucky side. He's going to Thunder Wave me. So as long as we're not paralyzed this turn, we can be really good. We can do really good here. E-Web's going to poke here. It's going to slow down that Red Lucky so I can go next or first next turn. But Red Lucky can get off another E-Web and slow down everybody. But can this guys just connect? Please do not be paralyzed. I I'm going to be paralyzed this turn. I'm not. Yes, sir. Thank you, RNG. Let's go. We're going to say bye-bye to Red Lucky. Now we have two Pokemon out of the way. We have two Pokemon out of the way, and I could just throw an Eerie Impulse if the special attack comes out here, which I might do, considering it's it's the Pokemon that he's going to have to die. Yeah, if it's King John, I'm going to send an Eerie Impulse rather than an Eerie Impulse. You know, it's going to be Landers. Okay, so Landers is going to poke out of here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to slow down Zacian. I'm just going to slow down Zacian. And do I get rid of Zacian? I do have... How many turns left in rain? Three turns left in rain. That's beautiful. Three turns left in rain. I'm really digging that. Uh, yeah, three turns. Wow, three turns left in rain. That's ridiculous. Because if I get out Dreadnought, Dreadnought can rip into that with Swift Swim. I really like that all around. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm just going to geyser straight across into this Zassian. We know he's Dynamaxing that, uh, that Landorus. We know he's doing that all day. And like I said, it. if he just takes out, say, my Reg Lucky this turn with a Max Quake, I'm cool with that. Because then I just bring out my Dreadnought. Dreadnought has Swift Swim. He should be thriving here. I like it all day. Because like Dreadnought would be fast on the field when he pops out in the room. So that is not too bad. That is not too bad. And then who else do we have? We have a Zassian of our own. I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting here, here for battle number two. Read and protect hard. We are read and protect hard. We're going to go for the E-Web. It's not going to affect Lando. We already know that. We're only worried about the Zassian speed. So we're going to slow down Zassian. I mean, Kyger's not going to outspeed any of them because he is paralyzed. But let's see what he does. He goes for an airstream. Is that going to take out Reggie? No, he goes at... He, I think he's trying to double down on my Kyogre. Are you trying to double down into my Kyogre? I kind of want him just to take out my Regilecki at this point. Speed's going to get boosted. He's going to go for a blade. Can you soak that up? If he soaks that up, I think we just pick up the KO here. And we are thriving. Let's see. He do soak it up. Yo, do not be paralyzed. Do not be paralyzed, Kyogre. Thank you very much. I love you so much. Guys, just going to fly here. That should be later Zassian, right? Zassian's on out of here. Yes, sir. Yo, the Dynamax Kyogre is prevailing in this battle. Absolutely ripping. We love this guy. We love this dude. We're going to have leftovers chipping up. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Because he could obviously cancel battle. My boy can't do anything. My Regilecki cannot do anything. I feel like he just takes me out, right? Regilecki cannot do anything. I mean, we can Eerie Impulse, which isn't going to do anything, but still. I guess I'll just protect. Try to keep him alive here. <laughs> we legit can't do anything. And we'll go for an Origin Pulse. We can rip it into this with an Origin Pulse. That could be huge. But I think our opponent just cancels battle, right? And this would be a sweep. This would be a sweep if he cancels battle. Just not. So we're just going to protect our Vagilaki. This lovely little Pokemon. And see what he wants to do from here. He's going to go for the Airstream. He's going to take out Kyogre, aren't you? Yeah, Kyogre's gone. I can't do anything with Reggie. But now I can bring out my, uh, my Dreadnought. Which my Dreadnought might not be able to outspeed. What do I want to do? I could bring out Zassian. Protect him. I mean, what is he? He's plus two on speed. Can you outspeed that dragon? I don't think you can. I don't think you can even with Swift Swim. So I, I don't even think it's worth going into him. I don't even think it's worth going into him. I think we just protect Zassian. I think we just protect Zassian and kind of get after the battle that way. I'm trying to think, can we, is there a shot we can win this battle? I mean, I guess we'll throw an eerie impulse into him. <laughs> and oh, dude, we don't even have protect. We don't even have protect. Wow. We don't even have protect. I guess I'll go into Behemoth Blade here. He's going to quake me. Go after Regilecki, please. Think that you're, I'm protecting my Zacian. No, he's going to take me out. Bro, I think we might lose this one. I think we have one more turn left in uh, rain, right? Or that might be the end of rain. This hurts, man. I can't do anything up against this thing. Your impulse is going to fly here. Can my Dreadnought clutch this up for us? What's this thing have? White herb? Okay, cool. Rain. Oh, no. Rain stopped, man. I needed that rain. That rain could have been big. That rain could have been big. But I got to go into liquidation here and get off as much damage as I can. Dreadnought, I need you here, dog. I need you here. This thing's cooking with speed. This thing has EQ. It can rip into me. He can rip into me if he has EQ. 
I'm terrified. I can't do anything. I guess I'll air impulse into him again. I'll go liquidation all day. Liquidation. Good, Dreno. Eat up this shot and just take him out one shot. You got it. You're, you're, you're a big dog. You're a big dog. EQ's gonna fire. Eat it up, Dreno. Dreno, let's go. Dreno, I need you here. I need you here, Dreno. Dreno, KO, please. Do him dirty. Come on, Dreno. Go ahead, Dreno. Do him dirty. Let's go. Let's go. If I would have lost that battle, I would have definitely been upset because we had the upper hand. We had a chance to sweep, and this Landorus came back on us. Thank God we were able to win that last battle. Came down to the wire, but my boy Drenal was able to soak up the EQ and then one tap that Landorus with the liquidation. Huge shout out to Drenal in that last battle. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a winning record here. He does have Whimsicott with his Zassy and the Shadow Rider Catholic team, and I feel like he's going to lead it just to get some speed control. But how should I go on this one? How should I play? I could go Kai Ogre and Drenal, which wouldn't be too bad. I mean, if he goes Tailwind, he goes Tailwind. I could actually lead in DD to try to red card a Pokemon off here. But I feel like he might just lead like a Pokemon like Shadow Rider Calyrex, which could be scary. So, Reg Lucky, you gotta be my Pokemon. We'll go Reggie. We will go. Do I go Incineroar here? Incineroar wouldn't be too bad. But I really want Dreadnought. I really, really want Dreadnought here. I really want Dreadnought. Or I could just go Incineroar and then Sassy and Kyogre and look for the win here, which is really looking good in our favor. But he might lead at Defiant Thunders, which could be a problem, which could definitely be a problem. So, I, with that said, I kind of just want to lead to Kyogre. And then go Dreadnought and Zacian. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But yeah, we're sitting one and one. Like I said, that first battle, I feel like we definitely could have won if we had more time on the clock and would have thought about our decision more because Zacian could have been used so much. It was the only reason we struggled when we came out to the final two Pokemon was because he had Gashal on the field. I could have ripped up with water moves and did a lot more damage than I, than I actually did. But let's see who he ends up leading. Is it going to be Thunders? It is going to be Thunders. So good, good call by us to swap out last second. He's going to go Zacian. And I am fine with this. I'm fine with this. This could be Prankster, but uh, but I'm still gonna rock into the Origin Pulse. Cause even if I do proc Defiant with this E-Web, this Origin Pulse can rip. This Origin Pulse can absolutely rip. This Origin Pulse would be able to do something. Cause that will allow us out speed. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. That is going to be my play. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna protect Zacian? Definitely an option. Definitely an option. Not a bad lead for us. Not a bad lead with this E-Web coming in hot. So this guy's thinking. This guy's thinking. We still have Drenal in the back, who I think I'm going to save for my Dynamax. Or maybe we might Dynamax Kyogre. We'll see. We'll see. It really depends how this turn plays out here. But Drenal's looking good, because I don't think he has any way to change up weather unless he Dynamaxes. But he might end up Dynamaxing Thunderous here. Thunderous looking a little scary on this, on this end. Like if he Dynamaxes, he should be able to soak up an Origin Pulse and then just get after my Pokemon. But that might be it. He's not going to be able to soak up two too much. Let's see what he does. And he is going to Dynamax. He is going to go for the Dynamax. Okay. Okay, so after his E-Web, he's going to be plus two on attack. So that's scary. This is kind of scary. That I wasn't thinking he was going to uh, Dynamax. This is like, this is a possibility that he survives his Origin Pulse and he's able to roll out strong. Let's see how this one plays. E-Web's going to fly here. Like I said, we'll, we're proccing to find. He should be able to eat this up. But then I just have to bring out Dreadnought and get air for this guy. Dreadnought with that Swiss swim could be nice. There's that Defiant pop. That thing's scary. I think it's definitely terrifying. We're going to Origin Pulse. Yeah, I'll eat. And we don't KO. We do not KO this Asian. Playoff's going to fly here. Should be able to eat that, right? We don't. Ah, oh, dude, it's a crit. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, you don't gotta do me like that. You don't gotta do me like that. Lightning's gonna fly here. He gets a crit on me. That's gonna bring me down to Sash, probably, right? Yeah. That brings me down to Sash. I do have speed flying here. So at this point, um At this point, I'm gonna just drop a straight thunder to take out the Zacian. And then I'm gonna get after that uh I'm going to get after that uh that what's it called? I definitely gotta get after that uh That Thunders. That thunder's just gotta go. Do I drop a rock on it, or do I, or do I think that my water move can do enough damage? That's the real question. Do we think my water move can do enough damage? Thunder's obviously gonna take out this. That's the real question. Does this do enough damage, or do we just change up weather and we go from there? I'm fine with just changing up weather. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm just gonna change up weather and guarantee to KO. That's my play. That's 
10 black because i really want to set up the stone surge because it is g max and it sets stones which is really good so any pokemon swaps in is going to take some damage we'll see what he wants to do here we shall see what he wants to do here this isn't too bad i can have my reg like he slow down next turn again but my problem is once i change his weather i cannot change it back my Kyogre's already dead but he really got a crit on my Kyogre. i just wanted one more turn with Kyogre because i would have he would have actually died there to the lightning, but still, Red's like he would have been at full HP. And that's Sash. He's gonna go. Oh, this thing's rocking quick attack. This thing's really rocking quick attack. That hurts the soul. It's fine. Dreadnought's gonna go next. Dreadnought should be able to take out this uh, Thunderous. And then Zassian can outspeed their Zassian because he's minus one. And we can kind of just go from there. So good work, Dreadnought. Good work, my boy. Dreadnought coming in hot. Um, All right, let's get after this. Let's get after this. What other Pokemon does he have? He could have Whimsicott. Well, Scott could really turn the tide here because then he could just, you know, yeah, win a behemoth blade. This thing, of course, is rocking quick attack. That kind of hurts the soul, man. A quick attack Zassian. It can always do you dirty. It can always do you dirty. But let's see if he throws out here. Anybody but Whimsicott, I'm kind of leaning towards. Anybody but Whimsicott. I'm going to throw out my Zassian. And who's he going to throw out? Watch. It's Whimsicott. I have an odd feeling. It's Whimsy, right? No, it's going to be. Oh, this one hurts too. This one's no bueno. This one's no bueno. I'm nervous to come out here, so no berries allowed. Not one single berry is allowed. And I'm going to have to go into... I do have a soul vest with Drenol, which is really, really good for us. I'm going to go into that just to finish you off. And then I am going to go into a stone search here. We'll do more damage. This rock will do more damage. I'm going to go for a rock move then. I got to trigger this focus, actually, or at least bring it down to the point where uh, Buffett's will KO this thing. That's what I have to do. It's an absolute must. He's gonna come down to the wire, dude. He's gonna come down to the wire. He's gonna end up protecting Zassian. Okay. He protects Zassian here, and that's a smart protect by him because Ashley Brosh can do more than half. But we gotta hope that we take out this uh, Calyrex. We gotta hope that we take out Calyrex. And if we don't, then we probably lose. But if we do, we have a high chance of losing. So this is gonna fly here. Doesn't bring him down enough. We don't have protect on our, on our ass. We do not have protect on our ass. That hurts, man. That hurts that my Dreadnought didn't do that much damage. It hurts the soul. I can't protect you. I cannot protect you. So we're going to have to do that. And I guess we'll Worm Wind. We Stone Surge just to see how this move looks. But it's tough, man. It's tough. That's tough. We went for a Worm Wind and he swaps his ass. And he's going to fly out into Incineroar. Smart call here. That's GG's. That is GG's. Wow, dude. My rock didn't do enough damage onto a Calyrex, man. I really needed that. Because if Calyrex went down there, we could have been sitting so good. But Astro Rod is going to be able to take out my Zacian. Dreadnought's actually soaking up fairly well here. He's soaking up fairly well, but it's over with. Because obviously, he can fake me out next turn. I have no protect. He's just going to come out with uh, Zacian. He's just going to behemoth play me down. And I wish I could change up weather. Because I would have changed it back at this point. I would change it back at this point but at least we take out the calyx we get rid of thunders and we don't get swept but not a bad set of battles for today's video this battle we definitely lost first battle we could have won second battle we dominated with that kyogre but then the land or simmons came back but then my boy dread not clutch it up but yeah that's gonna be ggs that's gonna be ggs oh so we have one more turn do we have one more wait we might have one more turn left in dynamax but still it's over it's over he's gonna hit me with a blade and i'm dead and no my dynamax is over see i thought i thought so I thought so. So he just fakes me out here. And that's game. That's game, set, match. That's game, set, match. So I'm just going to run this one. That's going to be GG's. And we're going to go 1-2 for today's video. I love that I got to use my boy Dreadnought in today's video. Like I said, I haven't used this Pokemon probably since like season 1, season 2. It has been very, very long time. But he still does rather well. So Swim really gives him that benefit. Gives him that speed boost. And he can do a decent amount of damage with that head smash and the liquidation as we showcase in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.